Look at this stained glass. I've never come across something like this before. Do you know how rare it is to see stuff like that? Why do they look so fresh? The beds are left behind. How retro is she? So we've got three more over here as well. Why would somebody leave that behind? Oh, there was a massive bang out there. Let's hear it again. Three taps. Oh, that's, hang on, that's the wall. That's the wall warping. The that's wall not, is bowing. Not, not it's not the wallpaper. On a serious note, I'm gonna try and not die. I'm, I'm not joking. Um, oh, there's so many oh, oh. This, is not, this is not safe. What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores and today we're exploring Cook's Hill House. Okay, so in typical style, I'm not alone because exploring alone is... Me. Dangerous. <laughs> but I am here no. with my gorgeous no. Mr. Demons. I fucked that up big time. You yeah. did, yeah. It's I, literally I, fine. I we're here for the band. I thought you said I, I'm exploring <laughs> with this person. I was like, me, never mind. It's okay, it's all good. But we're not alone, are we? Because no. we go alone. Get over here. We've got a newbie! I'm oh finally my God. here and explore. <laughs> Guys, this is my best friend Sam Grant. He has filmed with me in the past, but it's been about, what, two Three. years? Three years. Three years? Somewhere around there. Oh, that's two. naughty, isn't it? Oh my God. Right, so just to give you guys a little bit of background history, um, Sam and I have been best friends for about 14 years. I started my channel with him, and that is why I'm here today, thanks to this gorgeous specimen of a human who's just... Are you filming me? I'm filming you. Filming I'm being me. filmed. Oh my God, I'm filming. This is this is weird now, this. <laughs> um, but Sam is literally one of my just, he's a godsend, right? So these two amazing people mean the world to me and I'm very, very honored to have them both here to do this amazing house. Right, so this property, I don't have much history, but I do know it is a time capsule fully stocked with retro TVs. That is literally all I've got. Um, I think when we go to this property, guys, we'll unravel it as we go, so we'll probably see a lot of character and stuff. Um, but as it stands, no history officially on Google. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna shut up rambling and I'm gonna see you at the location. Let's roll. You wouldn't believe it, would you? We've literally just arrived, ready to film. And, and what on earth is happening right now? Why is it pissing down? down? It's all good, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do it anyway because I haven't explored now for like literally about three or four weeks and I'm dying to get her back out in the grind. Um, so yeah, RIP Kaylee's lovely straight hair. I will be probably haggard by the end of this video. Okay, she's not my favorite look, but <laughs> I look a very confused little gnome, don't I? But I don't want to get wet hair. So I'm just trying to uh, prevent the inedible. Inedible, it's hard to say. Oh my God, oh, no. this is not good lads. <laughs> hey pub people, we're going exploring. Do you want to come with us? No, because they're sensible and don't want to get pissed and down rain. Everyone, not do, <laughs> not do with wet hair. Oh, there she is. She looks gorgeous from out here. I love the kind of like cabin design on the outside. I don't think I've come across a house like that before. Um, but right, simple entry, I think. Yep, back door is wide open. Does that link into the house or is that part of a yeah, garage right. or something? Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. Oh my God, look at the state of me. There's a room there that doesn't go anywhere and then that just goes to the rest of the house. This looks like the um, guys, the restaurant. What is that horrible smell? That smells oh. like feces. I don't smell that smells like a fox has been in here. That smells like coming down. Okay, well, just watch where you step. <laughs> Right, so before we actually get into the heart of the house, I've noticed the kitchen is in an absolute appalling state where the ceiling is all coming through because it's severely water damaged. So guys, if we go upstairs, you know, obviously, you know the rules, yeah. tread carefully. Um, I honestly don't think that would support any body weight in any shape or form. Um, but so I'm gonna film from the door, but that's obviously your kitchen. Um, I'm assuming that is probably a pantry back there, or a bathroom. Got some cool little bits up here, but this probably explains the smell. So probably it's not feces. It's just a, a lot of really, really moldy water and a uh, decay. Oh my God. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? It's meant to be a time capsule. <laughs> wow. it's, it's supposed to be an indoor swimming pool, apparently. Yeah, they okay, revamped well, it. I thought <laughs> Have you looked beside you as well? Look at these glasses. Oh wow. And these clocks, I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. How do you change it? Oh, it's too old. Maybe the, the case comes off or something? No, I don't. Oh, there we oh. are. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Hang on, what so, time do they leave here then? Uh, quarter to 12. I don't actually know how you do this. I, I Maybe I'm just being thick. Do you use your finger or something? No. Or maybe at the back of it. Either way, she is a, such a vibe and that is a... That's, that's a Philips. Hang on. That company's been around for donkeys then. So it's still, uh, still around today. Okay, Lee, are you hungry? Yeah, why? Come here. What? I've got some... Oh no! Potatoes, oh. I'm absolutely starving. Do you not know crack that bad boy? Crack it wide open. Oh my god, they look oh. delicious! Oh my god. Yo, wait, no, can we comment on this? Why do they look so fresh? They don't, they just don't mold, I guess. 
Oh, that means all the preservatives and crap they yeah, put look, in it. Look, 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 it's been it's here a long like time. It, it, the, the packaging is clearly. Where's the date damage. on it? Twenty first of March, but what year? No, you, oh, these do smell actually. Oh, they do. Mm. Oh, that what that is? Yeah. Oh, oh sure. Andrew. Do you want to take a shot? <laughs> Have an opa. Oh, that that is. It does smell rough, but it's confusing me because it looks fresh. That's that's pretty bad, isn't it? All the preservatives. Oh. Look at the oven, though. That's we sweet. just walked straight past this bad boy. <gasps> Look at that! The little grill! Oh, no way! What is that? Sammy, if you get the other handle... Oh, yeah. I've only got one hand free. Pull it out. Oh, look at her! That's so vibed! So, obviously, I, I'm saying back in the day, because I really don't know what date this was abandoned yet. But this is how you'd grill your toast, your bacon, I don't know, whatever you want to grill. Oh, adorable. You know I said to you before we started rolling the cameras, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. it's like, it looks like a hanger. Mm-hmm. So we've got, we've got this so that's, house. That's part of it. But that, over the background, is a is a surprise okay so i'm okay. not gonna tell you what i've been given i've got photos no what have you done no, well, no i haven't done anything <laughs> i've just got photos of it okay and it's okay. pretty cool all right I'm down <laughs> right so making our way for the house um this the smell is getting progressively worse like it's almost like choking i've been to 101 abandoned buildings but they've not actually smelled as bad as this one so not good <laughs> okay so what what is this room i don't know is this a living room no Oh, this where's the stairs? It's a shed of some kind. It's a shed, okay. Uh, we got an electric oh. cooker. Yeah. A billing electric cooker, and this looks like a bird. It does, cage. yeah. Well, you wouldn't keep a bird in it, but I'm, I'm more thinking that's probably a spice rack or something for like a spice fresh rack. produce. Like, yeah, because spice racks, they use this kind of material, don't they? The, um, what's it called again? Mesh? mesh. Oh, yeah. yeah, metal mesh. So I think that was probably a food storage for of some kind of a, I don't know, I don't for know. cans or something. Um, but this is actually really interesting. Yet again, I've never come across something like this before. Oh, it's so cute. Is it? Is that oh, really it is, but there's a really, really horrible surprise inside, my biggest fear. No, not That is my mind. biggest fear. Oh, she sat there. Inside. Oh, no, 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 no. But do you know what? Goodbye, hun. Oh. I'm not about that. Oh, no, I feel cruel now, actually. <laughs> no, I'll leave it cracked, so I'm not being cruel. But, um, oh. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to be near that. <laughs> this is clearly not the uh, way to the house, is it? Well, no, that's what it's saying. I, I, it didn't look like a front door or anything, but well, it's all right. We'll work maybe, it out. Maybe through the kitchen? We'll work it out. Well, I think we are in the kitchen because I was about to say, look at this, uh, this retro. Oh, wow. Did you look in the fridge? Oh, what? <laughs> that's really weird. It's just full of magazines. Wow. And it's almost pristine condition. Like this fridge looks like it's just been cleaned. This must be some pretty cool that's, magazines. Uh, well. Not that cool. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, I got it. It's, it's in a fridge. Fridge. I'm sorry. <laughs> look at these. Look at these cool magazines, guys. Oh my god, hardy ha. <laughs> sorry, some of us are a bit slow. Um, it's all about tractors, babe. Your favorite thing? Some chicks. I love birds. Well, technically birds, but I whatever. I love some big birds. He does. Well, if you, I like big cock. Um, and look what I found. Oh. It's funny because I don't think I'm the only one that likes big cock. Is that right, Sam? For me, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to close the cock cupboard back up. <laughs> this is a very old photograph desk. Oh, wow. It's a bunch of workers, it looks like. Carpenters, maybe? It looks like they work for a farm or a, yeah. or a mill. Is there a date on it if you flip it over or anything? No. No, it's too old. And you can't actually open it. It's been nailed shut. That is really cute. Wow. I love it because you're walking back through history. Like All this stuff that I'm looking at so far, I've never come across one of those. Um, and there's several little bits around here that I've never seen before. Hell, hey, is that an oil lamp? Babe? Is this a bong or an oil lamp? That's an oil lamp. Oil lamp. <laughs> Imagine it's a bong. <laughs> that would be either a gas lamp or an oil lamp. Oh, so it's not a bong. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you can see why I kind of thought so. It does give all the typical signs, but I like it. That's kind of cool. Did you not notice yeah. the meat hooks? What? The meat hooks. What meat yeah. hooks? Turn around. No, that's not a meat hook. That's for um, utensils oh, and stuff. Yeah, could, look, there we are, like that bar. So you could use it as a meat hook. What, you know, what you would typically do is these bars, you'd hang your pots and pans off of it and all of your you know, like kitchen utensils and stuff. And some people, you can see this middle run, a lot of people do a cage across the whole thing and then they put like ivy and stuff for it and make it look all creative. Yeah, that's, it's not a meat hook, I bet you but could it's use pretty... It you probably could, yeah, to put some <laughs> pheasants or something. Right, so before we actually go for the rest of the house, um, just we've got a barn. They go into the shed. Links they put into the a cover over it so they didn't have to get wet when they went out. Is it a workshop? This whole thing is basically a workshop. I might have a cheeky quick look through there. Yeah, just before we move on, I don't, I don't want to miss anything because um, I do know obviously this is a time capsule, and I'm not really sure which rooms are the time capsule parts, so it's worth looking. Bloody hell, it's big in here, guys. 
<laughs> it's a huge barn in here and it's got loads of like products and stuff. Yeah, look, come in. Yeah, it's a look. bit bigger than it looks. It's got loads of stuff like old cans of paints and stuff, wood dye, tools. Gosh, so many things in here I've never seen before. God, it really opens up. There's traps here as well. Oh, no, I'm not a fan of spiders. Have you even looked up yet? Oh. oh, 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 God, no, I didn't look oh, up. No, I didn't look up. Oh, there's spiders everywhere. Okay, well, we can kind of get the main vibe of it. It's a workshop. It's really cool. A little handmade bench there. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to look up because I'm really not a fan of that. <laughs> please don't fall on my head. Please don't fall on my head. It's okay. And then just behind us, I think, is another storage cabinet. Yeah, it's all just the same sort of stuff, workshop. So maybe this guy was a carpenter because we've got a lot of fresh wood in here. And resources and that is obviously a workbench so maybe he did something with woods oh you think yeah because all looking at all this stuff look one coat gloss um paints this is all sort of wood kind of resource yeah. stuff so yeah maybe he did it as a side business maybe it was a side hustle playing with woods i don't know I'm right <laughs> it sounds like a good stuff doesn't it <laughs> right okay so let's try and work out how to get through to the rest of the house through there through there to the left the death room the room that if the floor falls through we're all gonna die <laughs> Well, it's not great, darling. Look at it, it's saturated. It's okay, so through where? Through your left. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This fireplace, there's a TV. No. Oh. How retro is this she? Is very retro. And a typewriter. Oh my God, I can't believe this is all left behind. So we've got three more over here as well. That is insane. So I, I really need to know the dates of these TVs because to be honest with you, this is obviously way before my time and I can't even guesstimate. Babe, do you have any idea of how old these TVs are? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so what are we saying for the bottom one? Not, they're, they're all different years, surely. I'm not telling you. Uh, tell me? 70s, going into the 80s, 80s, that's going to the 90s. Right. And then that one over there. Yeah, this corner, this has got to be what? That, oh, God, with the bulb. 60s? 60s, 60s going into the 70s. Yeah. But I have better news. Hmm? Better than a TV. What? You know how you're so against animal cruelty? Yes. A certificate of merit for prevention of cruelty to animals for their horses. They have proof that they were not cruel to their animals. Oh, wow. But that's the thing. Well, so they actually earned that for being respectful to their animals and looking yep. after them. That's incredible. Can you work out the name? Does it say, what does it say, May Mabel? Mabel. It's hard to, hang on, let me just cover that. Mabel Morse, Morston. Mabel Morston. That is absolutely beautiful. It's her Grace and Duchess of Buckinghamshire. Buckingham, sorry. Oh, well, that's really nice to know. At least they are, so this confirms they did have horses then. So all the straw I saw in the, um, not the conservatory, in the back of the garage. Mm -hmm. So that confirms they obviously must have like animals on site. Right, so before we actually move into the next room, I just want to quickly like properly look at this because this is such a rarity. TV remote is unrecognizable. So that's number one kind of fact here. Do the dials still turn? The brown, the bottom yeah, they do. It still looks like, these look immaculate. Look, they've not even rusted or anything. Really surprised by that. Ultra Bermuda? Is that the brand or is that? Uh, that Yeah, that probably is the brand of TV, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and look at the typewriter. How impressive. So that's obviously your colour, your um, your real. I used to have a typewriter and I did it for a little while as a kid, but and it's still all functional, it still all works. Why would somebody leave that behind? Oh, I've just found a little picture. I'm not too sure what it is actually. A magazine block order, children's filter page. Um, P. Barker, so P. Barker used to live here, I'm assuming then. So we've got a name. Um, doesn't say much about it. Do you know, it's really hard to pick up. I think my camera can probably see better than I can. Just by one female bark beetle. Doesn't really make sense, truth be told. So if you guys want to pause that and read it, feel free to, but I can't actually see it too well. Uh, I can only read it from the back of the camera. What the bloody hell are you guys doing? Seeing how heavy that is. And I, I thought it's... you were reorganizing the living room then. I was like, why is everyone moving the furniture I'm around? I am reorganizing the living room. Why, what are you doing with it? Because I want an Instagram photo. Oh. Of me sat here. Should we do the video first? No, because can we get a photo while you're there? If I don't get the opportunity to take the photo now, and we get caught, then I'm going to be kicking myself. Yeah, but then I wouldn't get a bloody, I won't get a video. The camera's rolling as we speak. Uh, yeah, but this is never mind. I'll go fuck myself. This is real life. <laughs> right. So in that jump cut, there was a massive bang out there. Hear it again. Three taps. No, I'm not saying a paranormal sense. I'm saying a, a people no, sense. No, I know, I know, but I heard that. Well, whilst we're taking photos of you, there was a massive bang out in the kitchen. It sounded like someone had come in. 
So it's no, like, I just like an argument. I hope you're right, but right, let's whip around this place before we actually do end up getting caught because it's so cool. I don't want to miss it, but yeah, before we continue, I'll come back and look at the paper, the dates on all of this. Got some really nice old scales there. But yeah, let's make our way up the house. So that way, if we get caught, at least we've done the majority first. first. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you got first. Look at this stained glass. That is so impressive. And it's a shame somebody's uh, knocked all the panels out of it. But looking at this place, wow, such a vibe. Oh my God. What era is this? It's got to be 70s, surely. But look at the lamp as well. 60s or 70s. It's got to be older, right? It's beautiful. Oh my oh, God. Oh, look at the <laughs> dining room. Wow, look at the lights and everything. Oh my God. It's classy. It's absolutely stunning. I love the fireplace and all the detail. Can you see at the top of it, it's got like a little kettle design or something. And all the flowers and ivy. Yeah, that's probably iron or steel. Yeah. Yeah, and all the tiles. Oh, wow. So whoever lived here was a mass collector of all things country living, tractors, far oh, yeah. mainly just farming to Definitely be honest. A tractor fan. Most of these yeah. are all tractor magazines. All just farming and bits what and are bobs. Those big brown books there? Uh I don't know. Sam, what yeah, what's that big book there? Um Oh, more magazines just like organized. <laughs> oh, so it's like collections. It's They're like immaculate. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So he's collected all of these and uh, like organized them perfectly. They're like still intact. They're beautiful. That's crazy. They're little footstools made of metal, but there's nothing in it. Aww. Little like, yeah, little yeah. futon. That's so cute. And then obviously this cabinet's just unrecognisable. I'm assuming that was once upon a time a desk. Yeah. Um, or a dining room table because it's got folding arms on it. You can see the, the, oh, the joint yeah, there. So yeah, probably sat up at one point and where you've just kicked would be the bit that would fold in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this vibe, like this cabin sort of feeling to the home. It's absolutely insane. Um, but right, if we're going to go upstairs, remember the kitchen, the, the ceiling was really bad condition. So yeah, just go careful. Yeah. I'm going to try and not die. So far, so Feel, Oh God, it feels all right, I think. Oh, wow. I think. It's a bit loose, but it's not Yeah, I said that this panel is not the safest I'm on. Wow, look at this. Okay, just take it very carefully. Oh my goodness, the beds are left behind. Oh my God. Why did they leave all the furniture, but they've taken all the belongings? I don't know, but look, this That's is- rather strange. This is knitted, somebody knitted oh. this. Oh, wow. Yeah, cross stitching. I used to do this funny enough when I was younger. I used to love doing these. Um, I had little boards. Yeah. It's That's not as so easy cool. as it looks though. And <gasps> the vibe of this wall. Yeah. Oh. There's some, oh, that's, not, on, that's the wall. That's the wall warping. The that's wall not, is bowing. Not, not, it's not the wallpaper. Okay, so you guys can just see on camera all the dimpling in the wall. Um, this place isn't the most structurally correct place I've ever been to before. So just, yeah, seriously, take it really careful. It's carpet, so it's like yeah, the, as well. The whole floor just feels like it's about to give way. Um, but I'm just going to quickly grab it, obviously, just just in case. Oh, look, there's another one on the bed. One of those stitching things. It's a little cottage. It looks a bit like their house, actually. From the way we entered, it looks actually quite similar. So I don't know if that's something. Oh, look, hang on, on the back. There's guys. Can you can you see this writing? I can't work it out, but there's writing on it. Um, it says. Oh God, I see some. Oh, it's one so nine faint. Eight. 1950, Hilo? I can see. Oh gosh, it's too faded, I can't work it out. Mm. 1958, and it's got it's, it's to someone, but it's just so hard to identify. Yeah, house was there, at least. yeah, well, yeah, they might have moved in at that point, and I'd have said that, to be honest, looking at this place, it's probably been abandoned for at least 20 oh. years. Is there anything in there? No, just cobwebs. No, just. Yeah, you can tell the house oh. is slanting a bit. Yeah, the house is very, well, can, very structurally incorrect. On the, on the floor, the house is slanting. Yeah, well, look at the walls. Look, even just standing here, yeah. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can just see all the rippling in all of the wall. On a serious note, I'm going to try and not die. I'm, I'm not joking. Um, oh, there's so many cobwebs. Oh, this, oh. Is not, this is not safe. I uh, said so the floorboards in this room are bending. The floorboards. Um, okay. Actually, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't put pressure on that board near, near the white thing on the floor. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Don't um, put pressure on that. But look at that wooden carving. It's stunning, isn't it? Is that a piece of furniture or is that just a frame? I can't see from there. It, it, it's, stuff, it's just a piece of art. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely really cool. gorgeous. Should I go for it? I was going to say, I'm going to I'm going to go for it only because... Go okay. for it. I'll the go for it. Right there, that's loose. No, that's the one I said don't stand on. <laughs> <laughs> he stands the one I say don't do. Oh God, this is rough, guys. Right, just stick to the main rafter. How about one at a time? I'll get a look and okay. then you can go next. That's fine. Okay. Why should we fall through here to our death? Yeah, Sam, that's not the most reassuring thing you've ever said to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry Imagine that. if we fall, <laughs> we're all gonna die. Go have a look. Don't walk. I don't know, darling, I know. This fall, is the panel. Look, this oh, panel okay, is right. not safe. It's these ones that are better, all right? So you want to stand on, this, on the side? She says, 
Oh, there's a little cupboard with some really funky wallpaper, which I'm going to have a look at because, well, it's part of the explore. Oh, there's some Christmas wrapping paper in here. What's in that door? Just, uh, there's another bedroom. Oh, I've got to do it. Andrew, you didn't tell me half of this. There's a little cute curtain thing and everything. Yeah. Oh, and a brush. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. Right, I'm actually going all the way across because I wanna get that other little room. This is amazing. I can't believe you didn't just scream at me right then. Maybe I just get more excited than the average person. I don't know. I just get really hyped about these buildings. <laughs> right, I think this was the room that was above the kitchen. I think. No, that would be- the Trying to work out the map of the house. Oh, I don't know, this one feels all right. No, seriously. Feels fine. We'll go for it. Yeah, if you wanna come in and come and have a little, little browse. It's got some old cabinets and a really, really awesome wardrobe. Um, oh, they actually labeled them. So I can't work out the bloody names. The, honestly, the, the writing is so crazy, but I think it says towels, curtains, and I think that one says blinds. Um, yeah, so they're big sliding drawers. I'm not gonna be able to slide it all the way out because unfortunately the, uh, the angle on that door, I'm not gonna be able to get out, but yeah, <coughs> proper classy that. Wallpaper is the best. Oh, no, that is the best. It is? That is the best. Do you know how rare it is to see stuff like that? It's not, really, it's really rare. It's not Boeing. No, this, this room's more structurally correct than the rest of the house. Um, but no, seriously, this wallpaper is such a vibe. And I think in my whole life of doing urbex for three years, oh God, I'd say maybe twice, three times I've seen wallpaper this wacky. So yeah, it's quite no, unique. And lights like that. You, have you ever seen that in your lifetime? This one's from Tesla. Because I certainly yeah. haven't. From Tesco? <laughs> yeah, yeah Tes what year was Tesco established again? I don't know. Uh, babe, do you remember the year of Tesco? What was it again? 19... I'm not a historian, I have no idea. I do actually know this, embarrassingly enough, but I've forgotten. Oh, so we've got a view of their garden. Big bit of land. Ooh. So there's the front gate of the house. Oh, look at all the flies just hitting the screen. So they've got all the front of the property, but they've also got the back garden. And we've got a little bee. Hi. Are you sleeping? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> um, do I dare open the cupboard? <gasps> Baby, you're right. Yeah, what? Sorry, I thought you heard you shout. No, I was talking to the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Oh, there's nothing too crazy in here. Just a little Wait, game of some description. Should there's like game, game cards. What? You want to play the game? Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it together. Let's put it together and, le <gasps> together and leave it. And then someone will think. Yeah, put it on that cabinet. All right, make the game. <laughs> I can't. I'm kind of off. <laughs> That's too much effort. We had a chat. It's too much effort. <laughs> I'm here to explore, not here to play games. Well, I'm technically playing right now. I don't know. It's an adult's playhouse, this. Um, yeah, it looked like a mini mousetrap game. It looks kind of weird. Uh, right, back across the dreaded floor. <laughs> okay, before I leave the room, I actually forgot to talk about these chairs. Um, look at the structure of them. I don't think they're necessarily... They are handmade, but I wouldn't say by the couple. If they are, I'd yeah, be like really impressed. Proper little spooky chairs, aren't they? Got a gothic vibe. Okay, so other than uh, that back room, um, I think I'm just gonna continue on to the rest of the house because we have got some furniture. Like I say, we, this is more of a semi-time capture. I wouldn't say it's fully stocked, um, but it does have a lot of character to it. Like, like I was saying to Sam, all the wallpaper and just even the light shades and stuff, you just don't have it these days. Um, so yeah, when I come to a place like this, I do really appreciate it for the fact that I'll never get to see this, um, well, in, in my day and age. So I'm walking back through someone else's history to enjoy it for myself. So all that's left is the blue bathroom. Oh, is it just that's, this, that's this room? By the way, that's what's over the kitchen, so. Oh, I thought this had to be way bigger. Okay, no, right, yes, that is the that is the room. So we're not gonna enter this room. Um, as Andrew said, this is the room actually that links to the kitchen. I, I mistakened it for the, uh, for the bedroom. It's moldy in there anyway. Very moldy, and even the attic, it's all, it looks like it's been stripped for some reason. That's really strange, unless it's copper thieves or something. Um, they've taken the boiler, so I'm, I'm almost adamant that would have been a copper thief. We've got some perfume. Yeah, it's a little bathroom, darling, but um, the floor's really bad, so don't go in oh, it. above the kitchen, isn't it? And uh, No, actually, it's this. There we are. There's the culprit, the pipe. It's leaking <gasps> in the corner. Oh, uh, yeah. So just by that dripping, if you imagine a per hour putting a pint glass under that, and then over a week and a month, then you can just amount of, uh, imagine the amount of damage it would cause. So I'm not even going to attempt to go in there. And to be honest, I don't really need to. All there is is a dirty tissue and a bottle of bleach. <laughs> so all that's left of this house is actually that surprise you have for us at the end now. The secret garden. Oh. I'll be straight up. I know a little bit of what's in there, but I don't know the whole ordeal. So for, it's kind of a surprise for me too. I'm up for um, it. But yeah, let's try and make our way down there. Okay, down the do dodgy stairs. Oh, there's a fly, there's a fly. Oh no. Oh God, I'm trying not to run down the dodgy stairs, but I really don't like bugs. <laughs> Okay, where's the way out? Andrew? Back here. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, there's another room here, guys. You didn't tell me about this room. What room? There's a room in here. Oh. And it links, oh, 
What is it? Oh, no, it does open up. Hang on, we've missed an entire section of the house. I was going to say, looking at the size of the house to what we'd done, I couldn't work out how, uh, how we'd missed so much. 1995, okay, so just a shitload of books. Prison bars, look, on the window. Oh. That's really weird. You're right. Yeah, I've been attacked by some debris. <laughs> is that natural decay? Oh, look at that. Is that Boeing or is that how it's meant to be? No, it's, uh, no, it's supposed to be like that, yeah. Oh. Is that a diary? Well, I don't know yet. That's the only writing I've found in it so far. What does it say? Page 376, volume 1. Some say, I can't read that. It's very hard, isn't it? Mandalorian bridge built in 13th century. Prevent road going thought forward at... It's impossible to read. Is that old English? Or am I just being thick? No. It's, or it's just because it's, it's cursive? I can read cursive, but that's just chicken scratch there. I can't read cursive. I can't read chicken scratch. What's chicken scratch? Chicken scratch is just a loose term for cursive writing that's really done small and quick. So, it's like, it's like uh, how I write. So you'd write like a chicken? It, it means I just write fast and quick. It's not meant for other people. Did you just see that? He's so sweet. Did you, Babe, just come back for a second. Right. <laughs> yeah, just to squeeze through it. That's so cute. See, that's the perk of being uh, five foot five. We just slide through everything. Uh, Ow! No, I can't slide through it. <laughs> just lost a teammate. <laughs> oh! oh microphone. We just got, we've got some books in here. What is that? Something about a knife. Oh. Knife, knife and, and fork, fork cleaner. cleaner. Okay, I have 101 questions. How on earth would that clean a knife and fork? Do you what? just run this pad over it? No, what you do is you go to your wife and you <laughs> bash her in the head. And clean the knives and fork. Do forks. it now! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and look at that stained glass. Oh, yeah, she's a vibe. Is it on the inside it's of the intact. arm? This is, um, this is lead, isn't it? The metal? No, this stuff. The gluey, like, yeah, it's, it's rock hard now. I'm pretty sure that's lead. I don't know, it could be steel, you know. Mm, I don't actually know. I think the bars are steel, but this feels different texture to, to these. If anyone knows, please comment down below because I'm pretty oh, damn sure this is lead and, uh, it. what? Oh, Sammy, oh, oh no. So what do you think? You no. just walked oh, all the way was... through all of this. Oh. oh. And it's all over I your back. <laughs> Yeah, so you walk right through it. Yeah, you're gonna, and you've got wet you're gonna patches be, all over you. Oh. It's fine. It's all about the explore. It's okay. It's about the Getting a bit dirty, having a bit of fun. Well, other than just, you know, the odd little bits and bobs, for some reason that's all been ripped out. I have no idea why. And that's kind of it. No, it looks really. to me like they started Ooh. trying to a like, project. make this more modern and then they were ripping out the fireplace and then maybe, and they, gave maybe up. they died before they yeah. finished. Yeah, well, I love the uh, the beams. This is all original, obviously. Yeah. Even the, the um, sorry, even the railroad nails. Yeah, the nails are still original. As we were leaving the room, <laughs> Samantha made a bit of a uh, no. uh, put, put your head back. Yeah. Oh wow, there we are. Mm. Human cobweb. Anything crawling? Uh, no, other no? than knits. That's that's about it, really. Just knits. <laughs> yes, that's fine. <laughs> Might I add, the, I, we just had this discussion off camera. The reason why I walk around crouched in buildings like this is not because as you thought I had a bad back. <laughs> it's because you, you don't want to, I don't like getting spiders in my hair. Yeah, yeah. no. So. Well, I think, well, I was gonna say he's learned his lesson, but look at him. He, <laughs> he's just rubbing against, <laughs> you're rubbing against him right now. See, honestly, this is the perk of being five foot five. I don't need to duck <laughs> and I've still got a good foot yeah, well, above my head. There's a spider right there. You know, you don't want to get it but it's, it's not on me, so I'm, I'm all good. Right, the sun's just come back out. Yay! So we're gonna go in the garden and uh, go and look at the hangar. This is genuinely such a vibe. I don't even wanna leave this place. Oh, I said actually, no, wait, I did say before I leave, I wanna check the paper. So have we got a date on it? Oh, hang on. Just pop it up on the table really, really carefully. <gasps> wait, I thought whoa, that was what? a pigeon for a second. Shit, oh, like, Sam. That's where the pigeons oh. were like in the building. When you... <laughs> Sorry, I was testing my hat off. Okay, no, no, what made me jump is you jumping. The, the paper is from 1959. 1959? So a very old what? paper. Daily Express. God, that's crazy, isn't it? How it survived all these years. Just so we can get an idea. Yeah, what's here, actually in the paper? Here they're selling lawn mowers, push mowers for six pound. I have a push mower and I paid, I think, 45 for mine. Six quid. Oh, I love a good push mower. So much better than petrol, isn't it? You don't have to waste all that time going to the fuel station, getting a well, jerry can and- Our lawn mower's in our hedge, so I- In, in, in the hedge? In, my, in our hedge, yeah. Is there a reason for it? Or? We didn't move it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just coming in fine. I mow the lawn every week, he knows I, I do like my gardening. Okay, some of these stories are interesting. Man is coshed in bedroom. Two masked men with coshes inflicted head injuries on Mr. Peter Bores, under manager, when they broke into his bedroom at the Manor House Public House, Finsbury Park, early yesterday. He was, <coughs> he was taken to hospital and police waited at his bedside. 
Was that, hang on, is this a local paper for this area? I guess or? so. Uh, these are the recent crimes. Man, man, uh, sorry, shop assistant Chase Snatcher. A middle-aged man made a grab yesterday at a 1,300 pound wages bag. As an employee of Paladin Coatswork left Lloyd's Bank, uh, yeah, Amersham, Buckinghamshire. Shop assistant dashed out to the rescue and the man ran off without the money. I'm huh? shocked. Hey, that happened in the, in the 60s. That sounds like something would have happened today in London, not not back then. Oh everyone tells me how nice it was in the 60s. They're like, oh, the crime was really low and everyone was friends with everyone and you didn't get any shit. Man of 82 falls down well. 82-year-old Mr. William <gasps> Willard fell down a 56-foot well yesterday while drawing water at his home in Chadwick Bank, Starport, Worcester. Firemen hauled Mr. Wood Woolward up, but he had passed away. He's dead. Oh, God. Rest in peace, so an Mr. 82 year old Wolverine. man fell down a well. Didn't say how deep the well was. 56 foot. <gasps> oh, God, that's. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I must have missed that. Sorry. That's nine of them. 56 yeah. foot. So these are all crimes that were. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. Gotta feel sorry for these people, don't you? Oh, uh, listen. He passed driving test for brother. Michael Charles Hayward, age 23, a lorry driver of West Thorpe, Suffolk, was fined £25 at Bury Street, Edmonds yesterday for impersonating his brother at a driving test, which he passed with a very high standard. He was accused <laughs> of making a false statement. <laughs> do you know, funny enough, my sister, she kept failing her driving test, and I actually said to her, I would do that for her. Passing I did. Her. No, I did. I, I will be Exposed. honest. No, I'm exposing myself. I said to, to Mills, I said, look, if you want me to, uh, to do the driving test for you, I'm happy to, because we're, we're triplets. We kind of look the same, don't we? <laughs> See, I also find it interesting. The population was so much lower in the 1960s mm. that stories like these actually made it in the headlines. Nowadays, some... These days, I'd never hit the headlines. Yeah, nowadays, no. none of this would ever be in the newspaper. No, like, no, no. The worst uh, they'll do is put a post on Facebook, and that's about it. Yeah, no, they wouldn't, it wouldn't go in, in the national paper. But by yeah. the looks of it, this is local to Birmingham. Oh, I see. So it's okay. quite far away from where it was originally printed. Yeah. But wait, guys, just on a side note, no, I did not do the driving test for my sister. <laughs> she said absolutely no, and I was just there like, Camilla, it's literally fine, I've got this. Um, but bless her, she didn't want me to. And uh, she did recently just pass. Uh, I think she passed about two months ago, so I'm, I'm really proud of her. Just before we go to the hangar, I just want to look at this real talk for one second and just admire it. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, I love the, like, the structure and the kind of cabin vibe to it little bird box and all the windows that was the bedroom window and um, the curtains are admiring and just look how low down they are so precious right so off to the hangar um this is all of their land by the way as far as the eye can see all the way down they've got the front of the garden all of this that hangar and the horse field besides so that does confirm obviously they had pets here and i think over there was their parking at one point yes yeah, so all of the land you're looking at now it was all of theirs Crazy. mental isn't it should we look at the front of the house quickly just get a vibe for it I'm just curious to see what it's all, uh, it's all it's about. Like a million, million pounder? Mm. Oh, right, I'm going to be honest, looking at the land and obviously what it comes with, um, obviously the house is in, in bad condition, i probably put it at about, for this postcode, maybe uh, 1.8 to 2 million maybe. Really? Yeah, oh, maybe so. No, 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 because the condition, the actual, this no. is all completely never, never, demolished job. No, listen, never mind the condition. In general, right? If this yeah. house was as it was, with all this land, this is easily... The I'd house, say the house alone is probably a million in this postcode. The land itself, add another one or two mm. million on there. Um, no, so I, I don't know. Like I said, I've been to enough properties and with enough valuations. It could be. It very well could be a little bit more. But to be honest, I really don't see this being more than two mil. Because whoever takes this is, is going to be a developer. They could build flats on here all the way as far as I can see. Which they'll make millions on. They will make millions on that, yeah. But I don't know the actual valuation, guys. Um, Andrew could be right, I could be right, I don't know. Um, but if anyone does know, put it in the comments. See, from the front of the house, it looks so much bigger. Because obviously we've just done the entirety of the inside, and that's why I said to you when we first got here, that it was, it was a mansion. It's huge. Yeah, it's just a little country farmhouse. Yeah, but you've got to admit, that is a big yeah. property. Oh, look, there's a garage. So that was the work garage that we, we went into. In, yeah. And the side gate was up there. And then obviously all of the front of the property. And that was where the staircases were the, were the main door. Right, so we're just going to make our way to the hangar. Um, there are some vans that are driving up the road right beside us, uh, yeah. not on the main road, uh, on this public land. So I don't know what they're all about, unless they're part of the business park beside it, or they're coming for us. I really have no idea. <laughs> so I'd rather get the hangar. And then, uh, and then we can bugger off and uh, hopefully no trouble. Okay, so we're at the hangar and it's bloody enormous. Jesus Christ. Okay, I hope there's some spicy little treats inside. Your face looks disappointed. 
So far, not too promising. Oh. Okay. Not quite what I thought, but still really cool. So this was for the animals. Look. So they'd stay between these bays, and you've got obviously well that that should have been water bowls because the piping. Unless someone just filled it with straw and hay. Ah, oh, okay. So the animals had a classy life. Can you imagine being in here? It's nice out in of my the house. rain and wind. <laughs> Nicer than your house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should move in. Maybe I should. Do you know what? I actually really like it. So these animals would not have had to suffer at all. Like realistically, like I wouldn't mind staying in this. Wow, I know right. some people watch this probably like Kaylee, it's a shit hole, but real talk compared to what I've seen in the past, it's actually really nice. Ah, oh, there's a little office. Maybe they were farmers themselves then, because of um, milk farmers even. Because all these sort of machines and stuff, they, they wouldn't have just kept cows for no reason, would they? I think this is more for their horses. Is that my lesson? No, I don't. Around. I wouldn't say horses. I, I don't really know. It depends on what all this stuff is. Because that looks like some sort of heating element. To me, it looks like a massive grill. What and it's got pylons. Look, it's got pylons at the side of it. So that must suggest that you're putting gas into it because it's all linked. Well, what would you put in there in the first place? I really, I really don't know, to be honest. Hmm. But it looks like a heating element. I think I'm going to have to do a bit of guesswork, lads. Um, as I say, I've not really come in, I've not encountered one like this before. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of you are probably going, oh, it's not really good condition for animals, but remember this is like 20, 30 years abandonment, so think about it when it was actually functional, it probably weren't too bad. It smells like trains. That's why trains? it's really weird, like trains smell like coal and steam. Oh, I see. okay, yeah, I can, cut, yeah, I can vibe you so, on that one. It's got a unique little yeah, flavour, like, isn't it? it? smells like old kind of like work environments. Yeah. Do you think they had like small animal as well? Maybe they had pigs or something? Because that's not really big enough for a horse. I would assume pigs. Like, we wouldn't put a horse in here. Well, no, because the horse would tower over this, wouldn't it? If you look at the size of me versus that gate. Maybe they had sheep or goat. I would say sheep, sheep, pig, and maybe a cow. Yeah. Just the one cow. Yeah, but they were definitely doing milking down there because it's because the way it is. Oh, look, there's a sign. What does the sign say? Alpha La Vida. Alpha La Vida. Alpha Oh. <laughs> I'm just following what you said. I should have read it for myself. Sorry. Al what is it? Alpha Laval. Laval. Wait, say it again. Alpha Laval. Yes, Alpha Laval. Alpha Laval. Sounds like an alpaca. Say it again. Alpha. Sorry. Our technical difficulties. Alpha Laval. All right, listen here. Oh, no. Some of us are dyslexic. Give me a moment. Repeat after me. Al. 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 Alpha. 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 Lav. Lav. All. All. Alpha Laval. Laval, ah. Oh. Alpha Laval. Alpha Laval. Maybe it was your accent that put me off, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this isn't the same as what I'd seen in pictures because I saw a car and this clearly has absolutely no car. There's some machinery over there. Oh, let's go and check it out. But no, it's not, it's not the same hangar, but I'm actually still impressed. I love looking at farm equipment. Um, I'm actually from a farming community. I've lived there my, well, obviously up until moving with Andrew, lived there my whole life in the countryside. So yeah, I quite like looking at stuff like this. Oh, what is that? Oh. Okay, yeah. is this for grain? grain? Yeah, feeders. Yeah. Oh damn, okay, do you know what? I actually prefer this over a car. Didn't think I was gonna say that. I just love looking at old equipment and just trying to work out what it all does. So that's obviously the main, grain kind of thing, the grain, um, I don't know, the, the chute, there we are. Around this side, we've got a tiny ladder, which, is it stable? Oh. None of that. <laughs> As I just kicked it, something just, <laughs> something just moved, I don't know. Uh, it's not really worth it, it's just a box. Um, yeah, all right. Babe, what's this machine here? A sex toy. <laughs> a what? A sex toy. A sex toy. Yeah. So you put. This is a sex toy. You put. Your Would you demonstrate for the audience, please? You put your pee pee in between one of those rungs. Okay. All right. Right, and then you turn it on, and it whips around really quick, and your cock snaps off, and then you can give it to people to play. Well, do you know what? I think you should demonstrate it if you're, if you've got the the no, history. No, I'm going. I'm a family friendly channel now. No, well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm the one with the camera. <laughs> okay. Other than that. I think we've been caught. Somebody is scraping something or sharpening something in the house behind us. They're sharpening a knife for us being on their property. I can hear that, yeah. Get out! I'm just gonna go film them. <laughs> uh, I can see there's. It's fine, see I'm, see sneaking. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. The ninja. 
sitcoms back the way around the corner. I'm so sneaky. Well, that's where the vans have come from. Yeah, well, that's where the house is. I can't see a person, though. I don't want to go around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not very good at being sneaky, are you? <laughs> sound like a cheap A for effort. Thank you. <laughs> okay, on that note, I think we should get out of here. I don't think they'd say anything. And to be honest, I filmed the whole place now, so there's not really much they could do. Um, it's not like they're going to eat me or anything. Yeah? Oh, Sam said a white van just pulled up. Yeah, yeah let's, mate, let's get moving. Just in case. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, right. Are you okay? Why is everyone just dying right now? <laughs> We're so dysfunctional. <laughs> right, leaving the awful awful room. Isn't that right, babe? Awful awful. <laughs> I'm just trolling you. Sam, isn't it the awful awful room? It's the awful awful. Alfalfa. <laughs> oh you my know, god! Alpacas here. Oh, if they had alpacas, I'd be like, I'd be living my, like, my best life. Put it in my neck like an alpaca because it's so long. What? Like Between your neck's neck. like an alpaca. Look, how long that neck is? That's long. It is quite it? a good neck actually. So, people say alpaca Have you got a double chin or anything? Just. No. No. Not You're yet. So lucky. Yeah. I don't even have to try, it's there. I love it. It's my cushion of protection. Do you want to pull your outro off here before we get back to the car park again? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to work out angles. No, you got to put your head. You got a, a, a medium neck. Put your head down. No, you no you're good. Down. Why do you men not have double chins? Um, Just me? Just me. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> right, so other than this little hanger, well, I'm calling it a hanger. It's not. It's actually a farm. Um, that was the paddock, so you can see once upon a time they've been fencing all around here. Uh, I think that might be it. There's there's a shed in front of you, mate, but I don't know if we'll bother with it because it looks. Oh, look at him look, vlogging. I look a bit dead. Yes, Ooh. YouTube mode activated. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to bother with that. Realistically, it's just going to probably be straw, hay, and a bit of feed. Um, and maybe a spicy piece of asbestos. Alrighty guys, and that was Cook Hill Farmhouse. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. All links down below, so please go and check them out. And check out my gorgeous peeps, my boyfriend, Proving Demons, Sam Grant. It's Azatone, isn't it? On, you got it right Azatone on YouTube. Go and check them out, the links are below. And if you haven't already, tick the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll catch up with you shortly. Bye.